Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will cover one more scenario for over DBF command. This time we will utilize over DBF command for accessing the file name with some different name. Okay, so as of now we have created one physical file which is test pf1. Now we will access this pf but with some different name. So before we discuss program, let me show you the uh, one command which is dsp ovr and we will confirm that there at the moment we don't we didn't do any kind of override on the file so just check it dsp ovr so right now it is showing no file overrides okay now we will go through the program and we'll do the override so what we are doing here firstly as usual we are declaring the file using dclf command so just simply write dclf then press f4 and here we can pass the file name which is test pf1 and then simply hit enter Below to that, what we are doing, we are uh, overriding the database file testpf1 for accessing the same file with different name. For that, we are using over dbf. So just simply write over dbf, and here you can pass the name which uh, by which you want to access this file. So for now, I am passing it as xyz1. So now this file can be accessed with the help of this name. Okay, so you can say that this is a kind of alias name, and which file we are uh, overriding overriding to database file two files should be uh, your actual file which is test pf1 which is size in shermit1 library if i do page down here then we are setting one more parameter which is override scope and we set it as a start job so that it all the changes will be impacted uh, will be in impact throughout the job not only for the program then simply hit enter so what it will do once line number 15 got executed it will override the file and after that we can access the file with xyz name xyz one name right below to that we are just reading the file and just printing the data for the demo purpose so for printing i'm using sndpg msg command where i'm passing the variable user id as this is a numeric variable so we are converting it to character using percentage care variable built-in function second parameter is already of character type so we are just passing it as it is and this is uh, the command that we will use later for deleting the override right now i have commented it because i just want to show you something without uh, deleting the override so this is the program let's compile it it is compiled successfully now we will call this before calling i will show you like we will try to run the query run query on library one for file x y z one so it is showing input file x y z one in sharmat not pound after calling this we will see it again so i'm calling it so it prints the data two datas right now we will see the command dsp ovr to verify whether the override is implemented or not so you can see now it is override override has been implemented on file xyz1 and this is the file name on which we have do we have completed the override now we will run that same query again run run query so this time it is showing the data which is coming from test pf1 but with different name which is xyz1 okay similarly if you want to access it on str skill part means select star from shamit1 which is library name and file name is now xyz1 so it is showing the same data so this is the advantage of using over dbf command now as we have override the file on uh, on the scope level as a start job so th this is why it is implemented throughout the job if you change the session then it will not work because this is specifically only for that particular session where we are overriding it so it is always better to delete the override after your processing so now we will uncomment this line so that it will process it and after that it will delete the override <coughs> right now if i compile this program it will compile successfully but will give one error so let's see what is the error and then we'll resolve that it is compiled successfully now calling it so it breaks why because we are not deleting the override on the basis of scope and at the top we have specified the sc over scope so this thing you also need to specify at the delete over command so just press f4 
and here you can call level instead of call level you can write start job and then hit enter make sure that this name should be same as you have specified at here otherwise it will give error and if you are using scope then it should be mentioned in the delete override also so, so let's compile it again call it it's called it prints the data check the DSP OVR command again so this time there is no override okay and if you are using the uh, override only for the particular program then there is no need to specify the scope because we are deleting it in at the end of the program so it is up to you as per your requirement you can change the logic so this is how we can utilize over DBF so far we have covered two sp uh, scenario first one is the uh, one where we are uh, accessing the data from different library of same file and today we are discussing about a way through which we can access the file with different name in next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching TechShenmet